Okay, so uh, we are applying your knowledge, what you already know, to do something new, which is cube roots. So let's define these terms using words and pictures, and you're going to provide me with an example. So what is a square root? And we're going to use words, pictures, and an example. Because when I say what is a square root, somebody in the room will say three. Because three is a square root. Because three times three gets me a square, yes? And could you indeed say any number? Yes, you could. So coming up with an example, that's the easy part. But I want you to explain it to me using words and a picture. Sam, what are you going to say? Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. That's a great definition for words, isn't it? Okay, so a square root, one. Any number multiplied by itself becomes a square root root of the product. Everybody cool? Makes sense, right? So now let's put that into math speak. X, any number, times X will get me X squared, right? The square root of x squared will get me x. Everybody cool? We already know that, yeah? That's words. How would you show me with a picture? Zach? I mean, Jack. Okay, the square root symbol is called the radical sign. The but Okay. I, I hear what you're saying, but what you're doing is using a symbol because that square root symbol, even when you said it, the square root symbol, that's not a picture, is it? Right? You picking up what I'm putting down? Josiah, what would you do? Yeah. If you draw a square, one, two, one, two, three by three, right? So inside the square is nine inside and three by three becomes the root and that fits perfectly with this doesn't it three times three gets me nine and the square root of nine is three is everybody cool okay now what is a perfect square then if the square root is any number multiplied by itself what's a perfect square in words sam Okay. Does it have to be a whole number? Does it have to be a whole number? Is 1.44 a perfect square? Yeah. So be careful. You're on the right track. Can anybody uh, finesse Sam's definition a little? Michael. There we go. I like that. Okay. So a perfect square is a rational number which has what? What must it have to be a perfect square? A square root, right? And that square root must be what? Rational as well. A rational number which has a rational square root. Now, so we, we can use the same picture, can't we? Yes. Right? But I want to ask this. So first of all, we'll draw our picture, and we'll use Josiah's again. Three, three, nine. Nine's a perfect square, yeah? Everybody's cool? But of course we remember that 1.44 is a perfect square, because that's 144 over 100, yeah? 
and that gets me 12 over 10, which is 1.2. Everyone's cool with that too, right? Now, the question is, what do you notice about every single set of square roots? They're the same number, and how many of them are there? No, no, no. How many square roots does a number have? Two, right? And they're the same, right? And what do those square roots do to make the perfect square? They multiply. So a perfect square must have, and I'm going to write this in red because this is new terms maybe to some of you. A perfect square must have two identical rational factors. Now, who knows what the word factors means in math class? Sam. Yeah, the numbers that multiply together. Okay? Everybody cool? We all know what factors are, right? Factors are simply... Oops, not mumbers. The numbers that multiply together. And a perfect square has two identical ones. Everybody cool? Why do we call it a square? Two sides, length and width, and they're the same. Cool? All right, now you guys are smart kids. Apply all the answers that you've just given me to these terms. What then is a cube root? Jack. Absolutely right. A cube root is a factor repeated how many times? Three times. That's words, right? Everybody cool? Now, Jack used, gave us an example, three times three times three, but he didn't give us a picture yet, did he? Okay, what would it look like? You draw a square, three by three. And then you draw on the right side, I guess, another square connected to it. You finish it off. with the cube. Right? So, how big is this front square? Three by three is how big? Nine. Nine. We know that from our first bit of notes. And then how many back does that stack go? Three. Three. So three times three times three is 27, which means that 3 equals the cube root of 27. Everybody notice there's a little number there now, yeah. right? Okay, so what's a perfect cube then? If a perfect square has a set of 2, what's a perfect cube? Set of three. Right, any number... with a set of three rational factors. Is everyone cool? Now, after three, there's no more fancy names. Square root and cube root. After three, we can go further. There is a group of four, but it doesn't have a fancy name. It would be the fourth root. Okay, so 27 has a third root, 3 times 3 times 3. No, it isn't. It doesn't have a fancy name, okay? But what you're going to learn today applies, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay, everybody cool? So we memorized the first 20 square roots. Let's do the first cube roots. So what is the three factors of 0 that multiply together to make zero. Zero. Now, can every number be a cube root? 
Yeah, every number can be a cube root, but every number is not a perfect cube. So what's the next one? We put the roots on the bottom. One. What's a cube of one? One. One times one times one. Next, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two sixteen. Seven. Three forty three. Eight. Five twelve. She doesn't have it memorized. Everybody, it's like, what the heck? I saw her using her calculator. She read ahead, right? It's she's not magic. Nine. Seven twenty nine. And ten. One thousand. Everybody cool? Everybody good? Yeah. Okay. It applies the same way as squares. Everybody good? So the first thing we're going to do is take what we already know and we're going to estimate these. All right? Now, I am going to bring my number line, which I should have drawn on the next page because I'm a bit of a doofus, but, you know, so it goes. I'm magic, and I can do this. Back! The heck? Where did my notes go? Piece of poo? Stop! Stop! It's locked in on the stupid... There we go. Oh, now it's not moving. Thank goodness for technology. Fine. Close. Uh-huh. Fine. Close. Fine. Close. Shut up. Close, 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 close. Okay, this is getting a little frustrating. You guys start doing what I, I want you to do. Because you know... Show you who's boss. I run this thing. Yeah, who's in charge now, Bill Gates? Matt Myers, that's who. Yeah, boy. Ah, screw it. Where's 45 going on our number line? What's it between? Jack. So it's between 3, which is 27, and 4, which is 64. What's it closer to? pretty much right in the middle, isn't it? It's 18 away from 27, and it's 19 away from 64. So it's right in the middle, yeah? So what is the cube root of 45? Approximately. 3.5. 3.5. Picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah. Reading my mail. Yeah. Mowing my lawn. Yeah. Mowing my lawn? No, it's not. I'd pay you good money. Yeah, but you were one step behind. Let it be known that he forgot to jump in at reading my mail. So there. You're not the boss of me, Jack. Okay, where's 405 fit in? 7, which is 343. 8, 512. Where am I closer to? 7. Closer to 7. So what, about 7.3? Are we happy with that? Yeah. Everybody cool? Yeah. It's not new, right? And then 176? 5. 5. 125. 6. 216. So it's 40 down from 216, but...
but 50 up from 125. So it's a little past half, yeah? 5.6. 5.6. Is everybody cool with estimating? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now you should have a bunch of blank paper there, right? Yeah? Okay. I want to show you guys something. Draw a line. Okay. And now we are going to do exact roots of non-perfect, what we call radicals. Okay? And a radical is anything with that symbol in it. Okay? Everybody cool? All right. So, to remind you, I'm going to do a couple of perfect ones first. Square root of 64. As soon as you see the square root sign with no little number there, what am I looking for? Square root of 64. Square root of 64, which is the two numbers that are the exact same that will multiply together to make 64, right? What are they? 8 times 8. Because there's two of them, they make a pair. Everybody cool? Uh, you probably don't need to write this part. All right. Then I'm going to do the cube root of 125. What does that mean? What does that little 3 tell you? You want a group of 3 instead of a group of 2. And what is it? 5. Because it's 5 times 5 times 5. Everybody cool? Yeah. Everybody good? Okay. Now, I want you to look at something. The square root of 4 is what? 2. 2 times 2. The square root of 9 is what? 3 times 3. Now, what is, using this knowledge, use this knowledge, don't use your memorizing powers, what then is the square root of 36? That's using your memorizing powers. Why is it 36? Four times nine is 36, two times two, three times three, right? So 36 is the same as two times two times three times three, yes? Does everyone agree? Everyone's cool with this? Because two times two is four, three times three is nine, four times nine is 36, yes? And because there's no little number here, I'm looking for groups how big? Groups of? Two. Is there a group of two? There's two twos, right? So I'm there's a group, so I can bring out a two. What's this? Is that a group? So I can bring out a three. Two times three is six. Is everybody cool with that? That is that you should have written down. That is how we do perfect squares. Everybody good? Okay. Now, I'm going to put one on here that isn't perfect. Okay? I'm going to work in red. Square root of 48. Now, do you notice something about 2 and 2 and 3 and 3? They're a special kind of number. You may know it. You may not. They're right next to each other. One is even, one is odd, okay? I'll give you a couple of hints. I'm going to write a bunch of numbers on here, and they all share something in common. I want to see if you guys know what that is, because maybe you haven't been taught this, maybe you have. I don't know, okay? Don't write this down. Just look at the numbers I'm going to write and see if you can tell me about them. Two, three, five, seven, yeah. 11, 13, 17, 19... What are they? Prime numbers. Because prime numbers are the most powerful numbers in our system. When the aliens come to take us over, they will speak to us with prime numbers. Because it doesn't matter where you are in the universe. Greplach is seven in Klingon. Okay? So, 
you notice that I broke this down into prime numbers, yes? So take 48 and try to break it down into prime numbers. What's a prime number that goes into 48? Two. Two goes into 48, doesn't it? Okay. So it's two. I'm going to do this. 48. Two goes into 48. And what does that give me? 24. Yes? Everyone agree? Okay. Is 24 a prime number? No. So we break it down again. We're going to use two again to get 12. What's next? Two again to get six. What's next? Two again to get three. Now, are those all prime numbers? So the root of 48 is really two. How many twos do you see there? So two to the fourth power times three, yes? Now, is there a little number out here? No. So I'm looking for groups how big? Groups of two. Do you see any groups of two in there? Yeah. There's two groups of two, right? So out comes a two. Another two. Out comes a second two. And what did we leave under there? Three. Three. Two times two is? Four. So four square root three is the exact answer. Does everybody see it? Okay. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna do one more long ways, and then I'm gonna show you a shortcut, okay? When the bell rings. Cube root of twenty four. So now what am I looking for? Groups of three, correct? So I take 24 and I start breaking it down. Two, 12, two, six, two, three. Am I done? Do I have all prime numbers? Two, 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 three. So the cube root of 24 is really the cubed root of two cubed times three, isn't it? Is there a group of three under there? Yeah, two. 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 So out comes the two, and what stayed under there? Three. three. Does everybody see it? Yeah. Everyone see it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to write six numbers here. That's your homework, to do this with six numbers. Okay? Is everybody ready? Yeah. And you have to use your knowledge. So we'll start with this. I'm giving you the six numbers right now, okay? I'm gonna give you six, yep. Careful with D, E, and F, because something's changed. That's your work for tonight, because the bell's about to ring. Everybody cool?